Hello there, and welcome back to this Angular course. In today's lesson, we're going to be going over the basic syntax of TypeScript. Let's have a look. All right, so here we are in our code. Um, let's go ahead, well, now in our code, we're in our workspace. Let's go ahead and create a file here. We're going to create a new file. And this new file is going to be called, um, let's see, let's just call it lesson one point well, 2.2.2, .2 .2. there it is. We're going to create the lesson to, uh, actually, you know what, let's let's do, yeah, 2.2.typescript. 2.2.typescript. Um, let's do two underscore, no, 2.2. .2. Yeah, whatever, 2.2, .2, that's fine. Um, all right, so 2.2.ts, there we go. And uh, now inside here, we can actually start writing code. So let's go ahead and do something like uh, console.log, dot log hello world all right awesome very nice so console log hello world now of course typescript um it is it's not it's not like c plus plus or java in the sense that it needs a main method it's going to start executing top to bottom so uh, we can just leave this code like that and it's going to go ahead and run now how do we run this code so remember how I told you that TypeScript transpiles into JavaScript or is essentially translated into JavaScript? Well, this is where you're going to start seeing some of that in action. So let's go and open up a terminal here. Now, um, your terminal is actually going to be like this. It's actually going to be in a Eduonics Angular course file, so in this folder here. So to run this file, we need to go ahead and go into unit 2. So we can just do cd unit and then, of course, like an idiot. I mean, what, uh, what I'm going to do here, let's rename this. Uh, we're going to rename this. Uh, uh, our unit files, we're just going to create unit2 without a space, just to uh, not have to escape the space when we're going to do cd into stuff. So yeah, there we go. We're going to cd into unit2, and now inside here, we can actually tr transpile this TypeScript file. So let's just go ahead and do tsc, TypeScript compiler, and lesson2.2.ts. All right, give it a second. And there we go. You can now see that we have lesson2.2.js. So the TypeScript compi compiler has just taken this code right here and uh, made it a, uh, a JavaScript file. So that is very, very cool. Now you see there actually isn't any difference between our files here, um, but that's just because uh, the example that we're using is very, very basic. But if we now do go ahead and run this, we can do uh, node lesson 2.2.js. There we go. So we're going to run, make sure to never run the TypeScript file, run the JavaScript file. There we go, and, and, and there we go. You can now see that it prints hello world to the console. Awesome. Uh, 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 hello there, this is Arseny. I'm going to stop it real quick. I'm going to stop the course really quickly here. So you may be noticing these weird title cards, and you're wondering what in the world this is. Well, essentially, the, core, the lessons themselves are actually going to be subdivided into different parts of the lesson. Um, and I figured that just adds some structure and uh, just generally, if you ever, uh, so for example, if you want to take a look at identifiers in the future, if you forget what they are, you can just go back to this lesson and then instead of looking around for uh, where I talk about identifiers, you can go ahead and find the title card with identifiers and then uh, everything in between this title card and the next title card is going to be about identifiers. So um, I figured that's just something I would note. Um, you're going to be seeing these title cards cards throughout the course. So I uh, don't, don't, don't be, you know. That just means that that's what we're going to be going over in the next in the next um, part of this lesson. So don't be you know freaked out by them or anything. Yeah, I'm gonna back back to your regular scheduled course. Uh, all right. So um, now identifiers. So identifiers there are just names that are given to things like classes, you know, functions, variables, and so on and so on. Um, and essentially, um, they allow us to they hold a reference to something that we store in memory. Um, so identifiers um, in, in TypeScript, they do have a few rules. So um, they can be, they can include both uh, numbers and, you know, just, and, and letters, uh, but they can start with a letter. So if we want to do, you know, um, I don't know, maybe uh, const a equals one, that's fine. If you want to do a one equals one, that's also fine. If you want to do one a one, then that throws an error, obviously. Um, they cannot include uh, special symbols, so we want to do a dollar sign one that won't work. But if we want to do a underscore one that will, so that's the only special symbol that sort of works. Um, they can't be keywords, so we can't do const var equals one, obviously, so that's going to throw an error. Um, and then uh, they can't contain spaces, obviously, so that makes sense. So a space one, that's not going to work. Um, let's see, what else? Um, I mean, they have to be, they, they obviously have to be. 
they, we can have two identifiers, and I think, I think that's pretty much all. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much all. Um, so yeah, so that is uh, identifiers, um, just, you know, just something to remember, and uh, the same holds true for, you know, class names, function names, and so on uh, as variables. So yeah, just thought that I'd really quickly go over uh, with you just so that you don't have any confusion later on. Okay. So variables in JavaScript work a little bit differently than they do in, um, in uh, I'm sorry, in, yeah, in JavaScript they work a little bit differently than they do in, in TypeScript. So if you want to create a variable in, uh, in TypeScript, the simplest form that we can have is something like this. We can do var a equals 1, for example. Very, very simple. And then we can just do print a. All right, awesome. So uh, I'm sorry, what am I doing? We can't do a print. What an idiot. Console log. There we go. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and run that right now. We can actually run it. Uh, let's do TSC. Uh, there we go. Node. And there we go. You can see we get one. All right, awesome. Because so that's the very simplest form of a variable that we can hold. Uh, well, I mean, that isn't necessarily the simplest. The simplest would be like that, but then we can also have like, you know, equals one. That's just the, this, the assignment as well. So we have the variable declaration on this on the left here, and then the assignment on the right. Okay. Um, then we can actually go ahead and uh, something that something that really different makes it different from JavaScript is the fact that we can assign types to variables. Something that we can't necessarily do in uh, in JavaScript. So, for example, we can do a, and then uh, colon here, and then we can do string. There we go. And in a TypeScript, string is from a lowercase letter. And now you can see here that uh, the uh, type one is not assignable to the type string. All right, awesome. So now we would have to change this to be, you know, string like that. There we go. So, you know, we can type whatever we want here, just some string. All right, let's save that, compile it, run it. There we go. We got that string printed. Um, and one thing to know that is sort of important, but not really, um, is that we can use both single and double quotes in, in TypeScript, uh, just like JavaScript. So, yeah, just, you know, something, maybe if you're coming from a backend language like Java, you're, you're thinking, why do you use single quotes? That's a character, not a string. And so, yeah, now, now you know, essentially. All right, and so that really is what makes it different from JavaScript, the fact that we can actually assign types to variables, and we can actually do the same exact thing to function. It actually works very, very similarly. Uh, very, very similarly. Is that a word? I don't, I'm not 100% sure. But, um, yeah, that's the important thing to note. Uh, when, when declaring variables, we have the option of assigning it a type, uh, which we do not have in JavaScript, and that is the main difference. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,